Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Libra. Hello Libras and Libra cross watchers. So, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. This is your love and emotions reading. So if you want to rent the extended, click on that upside down triangle below and it's going to take you to the description page here on YouTube. Um, there's going to be a link at the very top to rent the extended. It'll be on my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com in the Zodiac Intimate Extended section. Now, also in that description box below is another link that is, it'll take you to my Patreon if you wanna follow me there, where I do intimate erotic tarot readings, okay? So, Libra. <sighs> Funny how I just sat down to channel for you and I feel breathless. Like I can't breathe or something. There's something about breathless, feeling anxious, maybe paranoid or something. You have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. You also have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So you called someone in, or they called you in, or it's just plain magnetic attraction. And now someone here is shedding bricks <laughs> someone here is unsure someone here is so it takes their breath away it might be where you've met someone that it's the connection is so fucking deep and so intense it literally takes your breath away Eight of Cups, someone had to walk away from something and they walked right towards something very, very long-term and abundant. Ten of Pentacles can be a long-term committed relationship. It can also mean very stable financially. The Eight of Cups is walking away from people, places, and or things that do not emotionally fulfill. Someone, want, someone walked right towards their, their forever, if you will. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is the truth. Ace of, Ace of Swords can also be where you had to free yourself from something. It's clarity. It's truth. Wheel of Fortune. Destined and faded. It also is sudden change. It's as if like your life just changes like that in a second. You are theirs. It's a new cycle. It's destined, faded, it's fortune, it's luck. You have fortune like basically twice with that Ten of Pentacles there too. The Emperor, this is big dick energy. That could be Aries energy, but the Emperor is a masculine energy who could be a father figure. They could be someone who is the boss or the CEO. They're very large and in charge, okay? Nine of Wands, somebody here still needs healing. Someone's not very open and not very vulnerable. Someone here's not very trustworthy. Trust, someone here's not very trusting, sorry. Oh, and then you have the King of Wands. Kang dang the lang, as I say, honey. And this is Aries Leo Sag, but the King of Wands is basically like the Emperor. They're very aggressive. They're very alphas. They're go-getters. They could be very passionate, very creative, very charismatic, very sexy. Then you have this one, the King of Swords, who is more dry and code, logical. Maybe for some of you, you have two. Maybe for some of you, it's one of you. you. You're this person, that one's the other one. One's a King of Wands, one's a King of Swords. It's not gender, okay? It's energy. King of Swords would be someone who's just very cold and, and not very, like, emotional. They're very emotionally detached. And here we have the Ace of Wands, a goddamn huge new beginning. Something brand new starting, something that begins, and someone here is scared shitless about it. A hierophant, Taurus, but this is committed, committed marriage, union, a long-term relationship, the Three of Cups, someone celebrating like crazy, but someone also may have left because of third-party situation shit somewhere, and the Queen of Swords, that's Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Queen of Swords is also someone who 
can be called illogical as well. She is someone who don't take no fucking shit. She is a, she's not going to tolerate any fuckery. There's a very blunt energy here. There's someone here who has no time for shit. I think that the Queen of Swords or the King of Swords, however you fall into this story, has been extremely overwhelmed by what they feel and, and, and this connection. <gasps> Takes their breath away, but it also puts them in a place of feeling very vulnerable. And I don't think they want to be vulnerable. The church, church is marriage, obviously religion and such too. And then Scorpio, death. Death card here can speak about very passionate, determined, possessive, very sexual energy. But it also is about a transformation. Something ends and something new begins. It's like this big transformation, right? Yeah, there it is. Mortar and pestle. Definitely a transformation. The mortar and pestle here is also about making something else into something else. It's breaking things down, blending, brewing. Something's brewing here, and, and this person's going in. I'm suspicious. The house. Ooh. House is about belonging, right? Safety, roots, shelter. But it could also be like, hey, you want to move in together. And then somebody goes, why? Why would you want to move in with me? The rabbits. And the diamond ring on top of it. Now, yeah, see, it's, it's happening so fast. The rabbits is new beginnings. It's also sex and procreation and desire and fertility. So a highly fertile time period for those of you that are able to still have children and this the diamond ring here obviously is about wedding and marriage and i mean you guys have the church everything is screaming basically getting married there we go the swans to confirm the swans is soulmate twin flame the one deep soul connection this connection is making someone suspicious It has this vibe of being scared and nervous because it feels too good to be true. And someone here is afraid to buy into that because in the past, I think that when they did, whether it was with the same person or someone else, it didn't go so well. Great fortune. That's that 10 of pentacles energy from earlier, that financial abundance. Some of you may hit it big in career. Some of you may win the fucking lottery. You get money on the side somehow, I don't know. Poverty. This can also mean that someone here is self-made. They go from nothing to something, right? Built their empire from scratch. They come from really humble beginnings. And the mature woman. There could be an age difference here. But the mature woman could be someone who's just like been through more. Has more life experience, you know? Oh, man, you guys are going to come into some kind of money, honey. Sudden wealth. 777. Seven, seven. Now, the thing about this sudden wealth 777, seven, seven, that's alignment, isn't it? 777, seven, seven, it's like a slot machine. Boom, boom, boom. Is it luck or alignment? That's well, it's one and the same. It is, it, it's literally one and the same. When we align, we tend to put ourselves in this position to be able to receive very beautiful, abundant prosperity and, and, and magic, basically. The situation will improve. Whatever this is that someone's been going through, it's definitely going to be asked for help from others. So you might get help from others, which is why the situation here improves. Whatever this is, there's something better. So someone here may have needed to leave a situation. They needed to leave a job or a relationship, and then it sort of leads them down to, to this. It leads them to this. It feels like... I don't know, man. Somebody's just like so suspicious. The broom, it's unavoidable. Something here was just absolutely unavoidable. The mother. Mother energy here, ripe, fertile. Someone here gets pregnant. If not, it's just a very fertile time period, meaning, you know, for planting seeds for manifestation. But remember, you had the rabbits earlier. Rabbits was again about fertility. The birds is communication and the tower which is standing alone. So someone here might be shying away from communication. They might be going cold or going ghost, or they are you know, not very open to communicating. They may be trying to shut things down, trying to run away. Why? Because, well, they feel like it's too good to be true. It's what it feels like. 
Also, it says here repetitive, right, on the broom. Repetitive. Someone here might be thinking like, well, it's always the same shit every single time. I meet someone, get my hopes all up, and then it ends up being shit. That's what they might be thinking too. So anyways, we are going to go ahead and get into your extended. We're going to use a sexual tarot magic deck cards. And if you want to rent it, again, click on that upside down triangle below. It'll take you to the description page here on YouTube. The link will be at the very top. Um, in the Zodiac Intimate Extended, this is where you can find this if you just want to go straight to my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com. And again, that Patreon link is also below in the description page. Actually, I'm going to be doing another reading for Patreon right after I'm done doing your extended. Um... And also thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, XI underscore Missy underscore XI, and do not get duped, okay? There are a lot of people out there pretending to be me on both platforms. I would never reach out to you, solicit you, or DM you and ask if you want a reading. Those are scammers pretending to be me, trying to scam you from your money, okay? I would never, ever reach out to you, okay, and, and, and solicit. It's just not the way it works. All right, so I will see you guys in your extended Libras and Libra Cross Watchers. Love you, bye.